While in classical physics an object is either particle or wave, in quantum mechanics it is more complicated than that. It all depends on the vantage point of the observer. Take, for example, a double slit experiment. If we think of an electron as a particle and decide to observe which slit the electron goes through, we will indeed detect the slit that electron went through, after which the electrons will be randomly distributed on the second screen. However, if we think of an electron as a wave and expect it to go through both slits as a wave should, forming an interference pattern on the second screen, this is exactly what happens. In the Torah, we also have two ways of looking at every subject. These two ways are called in Hebrew klal and prat. Klal means general. From the point of view of klal, we look at the issue as a whole, just as a wave is a continuous whole. We will look from the point of view of Prat, we focus on the details. We break up an issue into its constituent components. This cloud Prat dualism is very similar to the wave particle dualism in quantum mechanics. Various cloud Prat relationships form the basis for biblical hermeneutics. In physics, we speak of systems and states. A system is a collection of objects, particle, waves, etc. A system can be in various states. At any given point in time, a top can be spinning either clockwise or counterclockwise, each of which is a pure state. In quantum mechanics, a system can be in pure state or in a state of superposition. For example, an electron can be in a state known as spin up or in a state known as spin down which is equivalent of rotating clockwise and counterclockwise at the same time. We also find many examples of superposition in the Torah. Perhaps the most obvious example is Holomoid, an intermediary day between first and last days of a week-long festival, such as Passover or Sukkot. The very name Holomoid bespeaks of superposition. Hol means mundane and moed means holiday. It is a day which is at the same time a holiday and not a holiday. On the one hand, we treat it as a holiday by reciting the hallow prayer and wearing festive clothing. On the other hand, one is allowed to drive, work, etc., which are ordinary prohibited activities on Shabbat and full holidays. It's a day that is in a state of superposition of a holiday and a work day. Symmetry plays a vital role in physics in general and in quantum mechanics in particular. However, symmetry breaking is even more important in quantum field theory and the standard model. In a particular type of symmetry breaking called spontaneous symmetry breaking, the underlying laws remain unchanged under symmetry transformation, but the resulting system is asymmetrical. Say a symmetrical equation has two symmetrical solutions, but only one of them is realized in nature. It is this spontaneous symmetry breaking that is responsible for the Higgs mechanism and Higgs boson, the so-called God particle, that endows particles with mass. In the reading of the prophets, we have one example of such spontaneous symmetry breaking. I loved you, said the Lord, and you said, how have you loved us? Was not Esau a brother to Jacob? and I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. This is an example of spontaneous symmetry breaking. The underlying laws of family relations are symmetrical. Was not Esau brother to Jacob? Yet at the end, God spontaneously chooses Jacob, breaking the symmetry. <laughs> 